everyone. Welcome back to Arby's Place. Raphael here. Welcome to my kitchen. On today's menu, I will be making a three sausage goulash. <clears throat> the three types of sausages I will be using is a half a pound of each. <clears throat> Honey garlic, farmers, and mild Italian. And also with this mixture will be roughly about a pound of cooked ham as well. Smoked ham, cooked ham, whatever your preference is. Probably about a pound, 500 kilograms. And it'll be served mixed in with the goulash. It'll be two large carrots sliced, three medium, three medium bell peppers chopped, six stalks of celery chopped, two small shallot sliced, two medium yellow onions or red onions sliced, I'm using one of each, and approximately one package of shell pasta, which is 900 grams or roughly two pounds of dried pasta, cooked accordingly. Now the oil is nice and hot, and let's get cooking. And remember to cook the sausage until they're no longer pink. Listen to that. Oh yeah, look at them. Don't they look delicious? And we're back. What I've done with the sausage, pre-cooked them and then cut them in slices. There we go. The quarter inch thick. Also, here's the ham. Cut it up in bite sized pieces. Well, a little extra. Make this meal nice and meaty. Back in the frying pan they go. Give them an extra 10 minutes enough time to cook them up and then transfer everything over with the goodness. I did cook some of the sausages in there and there's some goodness in the bottom of that. Heat that back up and then we're going to toss in the vegetables. You don't need to add too many additional seasoning to this because of the honey garlic seasoning, the Italian seasoning. And the other seasonings that goes with the farmer sausage. Don't need any any salt or additional salt because of the pork. So let's get cooking. Add some additional garlic. Approximately two tablespoons. As you see, the onions sliced, celery chopped, 
and the nice bite-sized pieces. Same with the peppers. Vegetables get a nice soft taste to them. The onions are just be slightly transparent. Carrots, nice and thick. Look at the size of those carrots. Onions to break up. Instead, I've added two small shallots as well for that additional flavor. doing this I do recommend a very big pot to mix everything together. Fortunately I do not have a big pot. So I do it a little bit stages, cook the pasta first, then the vegetables and the meat. such a simple meal to make it's just simply delicious this is one of Jessica loves favorite dishes as well The only additional thing added to this was the additional tablespoons of chopped garlic. We love our garlic in this household. And garlic has a lot of health factors to offer as well, especially mosquito season. them their garlic tablets and their odorless they're good to take and it helps repel mosquitoes my uncle always put them 
Plus helps with lower blood pressure and other ailments. Two tins of 28 ounces of diced tomatoes. Unstrained. And one 10 fluid ounce tin of condensed tomato soup. If you want it really tomatoey, of um, you can get it a 10 or 15 ounce tin of crushed tomatoes or pureed tomatoes. Look at that. <laughs> and the aroma. Oh, the flavors. Look at that. Oh my, isn't that delicious? Dinner is ready to be served. Roughly need to add maybe three cups. Get any pot size. you want to cook for about maybe seven minutes. Don't want to cook it. Slowly mix it in. Like I said, this is a very simple meal to make. Oh, perfect timing. Celery has a slight crisp to it. Mmm.
It's ready to be served. Get that. Oh my. Mmm. Like I said, one of our all time favorites in this household. I'm using shredded parmesan. There you go. Once again, I'd like to thank my YouTube family out there for your love and support for my channel. Each and every one of you are greatly appreciated. Oh, well, hope you enjoyed my tasty eats. Raphael signing off. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now. And remember, it's just simply delicious. Mm -hmm.